city i know i re i got on them about never hitting up central park which is like iconic to me and my fishermen friends so all you south dakotans i don't know what i'm doing and i don't plan to to, to do anything uh that uh will guarantee success i'm just going to work with the limited stuff i brought the limited time i have i literally have maybe two hours tomorrow morning to do this but i want to show you what i brought this is a travel rod telescopic fits in my carry-on pack of senkos pack of crazy tin foil colored yum uh worms this reel came with the telescopic rod i wasn't planning on buying a reel but i had to because that was the only telescopic rod they had and even hooks i was able to bring these in my carry-on um, I thought, you know, it might be a problem. I got conflicting reports, but, uh, they didn't care. They actually gave me a harder time about my GPS. Um, and then once I got my rental car here in South Dakota, on my way to Hill City, where I am now, I found a Walmart and I know Walmart sells a lot of fishing equipment. So since trout might be more, a bigger thing up here than bass, um, I got a couple inline spinners just in case. So um, I'll see you early tomorrow morning. Not too early. We'll see if we can make sense of this whole thing. And uh, South Dakota. Are you sure? Oh yeah. Yeah. All right. So there's one. There's fish under there too. You don't even have to go under that. It's here. funny, like to me it seems like this it, it's flow the water flows too fast for That's, fish. Let's see. But if you right over here on this side of the grass, uh -huh. the water's calm. They okay. They won't touch it. It won't touch it unless it's in that fast stuff. In that fast stuff. Okay. Alright, well, try it without live bait. We'll try this little spinner thing, see what happens. Yeah, thanks a lot, man. Right, nice meeting you. I'm Brendan, by the way. Brendan. A little so coffee on my hands. This hand's <laughs> right. covering guts. Oh, that's okay. <laughs> um. All right, so this is South Dakota. This is Hill City, South Dakota. You're never going to believe this. The, the place that I stayed the first night, now I'm not staying here tonight, but the place I stayed the first night, uh, I, was, I was shocked to wake up this morning and see that there is both a lake and a stream like abutting the property and uh, I talked to the people and there are trout in here rainbow so not really a bass area as I discovered but uh, the, the guy that was just just relinquished his spot to me here was catch it caught like five trout in in like 15 minutes um, right under the bridge here now he was using a worm he was using a, a live, live worm, but, uh, oh, I might have had a bite there, and uh, he said I could 
use some of his worms too, but I'm going to start with an inline spinner since I went out especially and bought one. So, having forgotten uh, a knife or fishing pliers, which may have been a problem for the plane anyway, look what I've done. I've taken the tab from a beer can so that I can cut my line when I'm tying knots and such. It works quite well. As I was saying, it works quite well. Alright, so I've now t tipped my inline spinner with an earthworm. Uh, people here are very nice. The guy that owns this uh, place, the Lantern Inn, I think his name is Drew, uh, has some night crawlers on hand that he doesn't mind if guests use. Um, so I tipped it. So that'll do two things. It'll weigh the lure down a little bit because I felt like it was coming towards the top of the water and maybe they're deeper. And also, of course, it'll entice them because worms taste good. Oop, there's a, that was a bite. Let's try that again. Come on, first South Dakota rainbow trout. First trout on film, let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, I'm getting bit now. That's what we needed, these worms. Oh, yeah, we're going to get a fish. There's another bite. Stole the worm. We're going to go smaller pieces. Worm on now. I'm encouraged because I was definitely getting bit. Definitely getting bites down there. Just let it flow in the current for a little while. I think it's an issue of depth. So when I had the bigger piece of worm on, I got hit. So I think it brings it down a little bit more. I'm taking my worms down there. They are taking my worms. All right, so right on this corner is where I gotta find them. There's a fish. There's a fish. There's a fish. There's a trout. Ooh, nice. Not a bad one. And because I'm going to take him as a wedding gift, I am not going to wet my hands. Doesn't matter. Look at that rainbow trout. Nice. Beautiful. On the inline spinner with a worm. Okay, well... South Dakota. Here we go. All right, so they really like it in what seems to be the most, um, the highest current area. So that's cool. I actually caught a fish in South Dakota. And a fish I'm not used to catching either. So I think it's a little misleading <clears throat> that uh, there's really high current where I caught that fish. So I think when the water hits that corner, it, it creates like a pool right beyond the corner. So I think that is actually a relatively calm pool right there. And that's where myself and the gentleman who was fishing here before was getting hit. There's a fish. Another one. Another good one. Okay. Ooh, this is a nice one. Bigger than the last one. Oh, and he swallowed it too. Well, he's, he would die anyway, so I'm going to keep this one. This might be my 14-incher. Look at that. It's a nice fish. Let's see if they have teeth. Nah, well, kind of, but we're okay. All right, well, this might be a good stopping point or temporary stopping point because I cannot get the hook out. All right, well, we're gonna have lunch or dinner on me. Okay, there's my catch. So I guess this is gonna turn into a catch and cook episode.
Okay, so I only have about an hour left to fish because I've actually got to check out of this place, but I can't believe my luck. Just two days before this wedding, uh, needing a room for the night and coming to a place where there's fishing, good fishing, trout fishing right outside your door. Um, so I'm just a little farther up on the creek. The lake is right up there. I want to try them both before I go. But anything after this point is just bonus, man. I'm happy. So I guess this is the pattern. They like, you know, relatively swift water under bridges. I mean, we'll see. We'll see if there's anything under here. And uh, I think, his, again, I think his name is Drew, the, the, the owner or the guy, at least the guy who is running it today. Very nice dude, very helpful said I can clean my fish at his uh, he has like a cleaning station he said I can borrow a knife good good people good people I don't think I'm missing too much right now with the wedding festivities because it's only 8:30. people are probably still just getting up and I'll go meet up with them in a little bit and I do want to note at this point that I am licensed to fish right now in South Dakota. I bought a one-day non-resident fishing license that if asked I can procure on my phone. So right now we're at eight dollars per fish. I think I'm getting bit down there. I, I switched inline spinners to the other one I bought at Walmart last night at midnight. Um, my other one is actually still in that last trout's mouth. I'm going to take it out when I fillet it. Okay. I'm getting bites down there. I'm going to tighten this worm up around the hooks. Don't give them any leeway here. So now I've got... La uh, the last one I had on was a MEPS. Just a very basic MEPS inline spinner. This is a Panther Martin. Looks like that. Pretty, this one's smaller than, than the other one. That'll matter. So what I do is I let the current take my line out for a while, take the lure out, and then I just close the bale and I just let it kind of drift in the current. Or not dr not drift, but just sit there, get those spinners going, get their attention. Again, trout fishing. Oh, is that a fish? No, that was a snag. Trout fishing, not my forte. So. I'm, it's definitely a learn as you go for me today. Every cast I'm getting bit. I just don't know what's wrong here. There we there's a nice something. Oh no. Still got to be in there. There he is. He's in this pool and he can't get out. All right. I'm gonna leave that one alone for a little bit. Try to find him later. Hey, you can't have a fishing outing without losing one, huh? The only thing I'm bummed about is that he's stuck. Oh, another one. Took my lure. Let's see how our buddy's doing over here. Well, I don't see him anymore. So maybe he found a way out. There's, ah. Yeah, there's a lot of them down there. Ha! Huh. That is not a trout. And I can't believe he went for it. It looks kind of like a creek chub, but it's... Yeah, it might be a creek chub. It looks a little different. Stripe along the side isn't as dramatic, but that's hilarious. All right, little micro fish. No one's going to miss him, but he's going back. That... Not a rainbow.
rainbow trout. That is a brook trout. All right, first brookie on camera. Okay, and because, I, I mean, not really much of a, an eater, but um, there is no size limit, and he really swallowed the hook, so I don't think we can save him. Plus, I didn't wet my hands. Brook trout. Green sunfish, maybe, or maybe it's a different kind of panfish around here. Definitely in the sunfish family. Tiny. guys I finally came up to the lake just to try it out but I've had a good enough day at the stream so I don't really care what happens here yep okay well we got a sunfish in the lake I think yeah this is just a classic green sunfish Well, folks, it's going to be hard to stop fishing. This new and exciting rainbow trout bite. But uh, we got some fish to clean and we got a wedding to go to. Perch! 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 Yellow perch, what a multi species day! Alright, another green sunfish. Bass to eat them, I guess. All right, buddy. Let's go clean some fish. That's not good. That's why we probably should have had some oil, but that's okay. So uh, we don't have too much uh, cooking um, accoutrements, accoutrements, but uh, it's okay because we're going to put pieces of trout on pizza in a little bit. So we're just going to let these, oh, yep, there's some pizza. Uh, we're just going to let them, you know, do their thing and... Uh, that is all. Here you go. B had a mint julep. Oh. <laughs>
the trout is done. I'm gonna take a cube here. I've already actually tried a little bit, so you're not watching my first taste, but very good. Loop some of that out of my pizza, boy. And we're gonna put some on our pizza here. You didn't even taste it yet. I'm tasting it. It's very good. Says succulent, very good. Yeah. See? It's because I caught it. I only I only catch the tastiest trout. That's actually very good. Big red angler. Okay. All right. I'm gonna try my trout pizza. Thanks for joining me on uh, my South Dakota adventure. I'm gonna go party it up for the wedding. Now everybody's watching me, so it's, I'm not. I'm gonna edit this out anyway, guys. I'm gonna edit it out. All right. Here we go. Trout pizza. Delicious. I didn't need any. So. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. See you back in New York. Peace. Like there's no tomorrow. Fish. Like there's no tomorrow. See, I have friends. <laughs>